Hi everyone. This is a short introduction to a tutorial that I have on my website which is called Hills and Valleys Binding. Um, I've used it on these notebooks which is my Whispers of Nature collection. But I have also used this binding on um, junk journal style books and I've had a lot of questions about it so I decided I would try and do a tutorial for you. So I wanted to explain what I'm covering in the lesson and what I'm not covering. Um, so first of all, if I show you these three books together, you'll see why it's called Hills and Valleys because of the nice up and down shape that you see there. And also this is quite nice when you hold the books together, you have these nice um, kind of tracks in between. Um, in the lesson I'm covering three different spines. So there is a um, curved spine version which unfortunately I don't have a finished book to show you um, so you have to use your imaginations. Um, this is the main one uh, which is a squared off um, spine. And there is also here a um, soft hinged version. So that's the hard version. This is the soft hinged. And um, what's unique about this particular book binding method is this nice um, lip that you get here. It's made in three pieces like so. So if you use contrasting fabrics, you can see it more clearly and um, I like to use very thick boards so that um, that effect is emphasized. So that's what it looks like. Uh, what the tutorial does not cover is um, it's nothing to do with eco dyeing. This is just the fabric that I have used and um, it also doesn't cover how to sew your pages together so um, we're coming at it with the understanding that you already have some knowledge of um, how you like to bind your pages you probably have a favorite method if you're coming from a um, junk journaling background so whatever you like to do that's fine um, this is the way I've done it I've done it in, in a traditional um, book block which is uh, quite tightly sewn together um, but if you want to make a bigger journal with with gaps for your pockets for your insertions that's fine um, it will work equally well um, I do also show you how to how I um, glue my book block to my cover so that that part is covered um, but you will need to have your pages already assembled and I will show you the construction of this um, cover. So um, I hope to see some of you there um, that might be interested in having a look and learning how to make that. Um, I felt there was something else I wanted to say but I can't remember it now. So um, thank you everyone. Um, I will see you soon. Bye.